subscribers out there in YouTube land. This here is Grateful Panic, and I've got another video for you guys today. <clears throat> and today, we're actually going to be responding to uh, a tag from the... It's an, actually an open tag video, but uh, Justin from Blue Collar Survival tagged a couple of people uh, specifically. Um, and I was one of them, so today I'm going to be responding to his tag video and that is what are my th three three uh knife pet peeves or pet peeves pertaining to knives and before we do that let's go ahead and get this panic dump out of the way and let you guys take a look at what i was carrying today and today in my pocket i had the spider co endura and i gotta tell you guys um, I held out on that one for a long, long time. I've, I've looked at them and they, they never really did anything for me. And I, I got a good deal on this one <clears throat> and I'm glad I picked it up because I absolutely love this knife. Uh, this, I've been carrying this all week and I just can't get enough of it. Um, also in my pocket, I had, uh, the Victorinox Alox Pioneer and the TC Barlow and this is a uh, natural veg tan leather slip from Doc and <clears throat> I'm doing a little experiment for him and what I'm doing is I'm carrying this guy every day and it is a uh, natural undyed leather so he, he you know he wants to see what kind of patina that uh, this takes you know on its own without being dyed and I'll be documenting that on Instagram. So if you guys are on Instagram and you don't already follow me, jump on there and uh, look up Grateful Panic and, uh, you know, keep up with, with what's going on with this guy because uh, he'll he'll probably be showing up in all of my videos just to guy, let you guys take a look at what's going on and how it's darkening up. This is only the second, well, this is the first day I carried it. I just got it yesterday, so... You know, not a whole lot going on yet, but I will definitely keep you guys updated. Um, on my belt today was the uh, Bark River Knives Aurora. And, of course, as always, the Buck 110 Light. So, oh, and uh, I know I'm letting you guys down, but I've been working <clears throat> over at work and uh, my my store to get the good stuff is is closed so i just picked up a little little pack of some hillbilly uh, water in a can and i'm drinking a little bit of the the natty light tonight so that means it's time to get down to the nitty-gritty guys and go ahead and get into this uh three pet peeves of mine about knives and actually there's more and i mean i'm not a uh a hugely picky knife person but there's just some things that really really bug me and I think and I don't have an example of this because this is such a pet peeve of mine my number one pet peeve is blade play I absolutely cannot stand uh, a knife with blade play in it um, <clears throat> and especially uh, traditional knives because there's no there's no pivot screw to tighten up to try and get and this this actually has a tiny just a tiny bit of blade play but you know this was this was a really great find of mine so I definitely won't be getting rid of this guy but um yeah like I was saying with traditional knives it, it's it's the worst because there's no pivot screw to tighten up uh, if you got blade play in your, in your uh, slip joint I mean you're just you're kind of stuck with it <clears throat> And I don't know what it is, you know, I know it probably doesn't bother some people, but it really, really bothers me. And I, I just, I literally will not carry or use the knife. Um, and as a matter of fact, my first Great Eastern Cutlery knife was a number 43. And it was the, uh, the beaver tail version of the Oregon Trapper. And apparently there was just widespread issues with the you know the fit and finish on that knife and there was a good bit of blade play in, in a lot of them and apparently they fixed those issues uh, when they put out the uh, Northfield 
versions of that knife and I've actually handled and and did a follow-up video on uh, the Northfield version of that knife that uh, brother JR let me borrow and it was absolutely perfect so uh, yeah that kind of put a bad taste in my mouth for great eastern cutlery like right off the bat but I'm glad I stuck with it because uh, that's the only issue I've ever had with their knives and yeah blade play is a huge uh, turn off for me when it comes to a knife if I, if I get a knife and it's got blade play it's pretty much gone and if I do keep it you will never see me carry it um, number two is probably going to be um, sharpening choil and you know don't don't get me wrong it, every knife I have does not have to have a sharpening choil but there's a right way to go about not having having a sharpening choil and there's a wrong way and I actually have uh, examples of that and this well yeah let's let's go ahead and do the the wrong way and don't get me wrong because I, I love these knives it's not um, the sharpening choil issue is not a, uh, a deal breaker um, I'm not happy about it but like I said I'm not gonna get rid of the knife just because of the sharpening choil issue but this to me is the wrong way and I, I love uh, the k-bar dozier and I don't know if you guys can see this but the sharpening edge ends right there and there, I mean, there is even kind of a little bit of a choil where if you brought the sharpening edge all, or the sharpened edge all the way to the end right here, you would almost have a choil, but it just, it ends right there. And the same with this Utilitac, except it's, it's even worse. It ends right here. And you've got, you know, a good eighth inch of a blade left that's not even sharpened I mean that's that's just that's ridiculous to me so the way you know in my opinion it should be done let's get rid of that glare is like with this Endura and there's some nice schmutz on there but you see I mean the sharpening the sharpening edge comes right to the plunge line there I mean if you're not gonna have a choil at least bring you know Give me some sharpness all the way to the Ricasso here. Don't just leave me hanging with an eighth inch of unsharpened blade. So that would definitely be uh, my number two uh, pet peeve when it comes to knives. And number three, <clears throat> and definitely not least because this is a, a, another big pet peeve of mine, is lock stick. And uh, I've had a couple of knives. As a matter of fact, my um, Benchmade 940 had a horrendous lock stick uh, when I first got it. And I contacted JR because it was his 940 that made me absolutely have to have a 940. And I was like, dude, did, uh, did your 940 have a lock stick? And he was like, no. Um, I, you know, he told me a couple of other Benchmade models of his that did have it. <clears throat> and basically I, I put a little bit of graphite on it some oil and just kept working it and working it and it went away well I got this knife and yeah it's a little um, budget knife but it, um, the Tangram Vector and I was really excited about it because I've never had a plunge lock before uh, button lock um, absolutely loved the Freeman flipper that JR let me borrow and I knew this was not going to be anywhere near the uh, quality or, or action of that knife but I was you know I was excited to get it nonetheless I get it and immediately I noticed that the actions not that great and I talked to a couple of people um, namely Doc who uh, had one and uh, Doc said you know I've just been sitting on the couch flipping it over the past couple of days and the actions getting better so you know I was uh, very relieved to hear that and and the funny thing is, when I first got it, it didn't have lock stick. And the more I uh, actually flipped it and, and played with it, the lock stick got worse and worse. And I don't know if you're going to be able to hear this, but I mean, to me, like that's unacceptable. It takes a pretty good push to get that lock to disengage. So, 
that guy, this guy right here, uh, pretty much ended up going in the knife case because, I mean, it's a cool knife. It's just a nice little novelty, and I'll probably keep it, but um, I haven't carried it once since that uh, lock stick started rearing its ugly head. Um, so, yeah, that's my, uh, that's my three pet peeves right there. Blade play, uh, sharpening choil. If you're not going to have one, know how to not have one and lock stick um <clears throat> and like i said really the only deal breaker of those three is the uh blade play i i just i cannot stand it it it's it just irks me to no end <clears throat> but uh you know let me know what you guys what your pet peeves are you know drop some comments down below and and let me know re what really gets you uh what really chaps your hide about knives uh, uh and also tell me you know what your you know what you love about knives what what features on a knife or you know what uh attributes of a knife that you really really love i'd li i'd like to hear those too um and we do if you guys uh didn't catch the catastrophic live feed that i attempted uh the other night and not catastrophic on you guys' end because uh, the, the people that tuned in were absolutely awesome, and it, I was having a really great time, but having some te technical difficulties on my end, so it didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to. But uh, we do have an update um, on the 300 subscriber giveaway, and uh, JB's stuff came in, and so uh, we're going to be giving away an Olight i3e EOS, and some big red edc stickers so that's really really awesome um and that is going along with uh jr's gerber order so that's going to be in there and also justin at blue collar survival um is donating a t-shirt so it's and and then that i haven't even shown you guys well you guys know the fh21 is is the main knife uh in the giveaway but we got a couple of more things coming and uh so hopefully first of next week we will be i will be actually uh dropping the uh 300 subscriber giveaway video and uh like i said you know it's just my way of saying thank you to get you guys for being so awesome uh you guys make this an absolutely amazing uh journey and i enjoy the crap out of it and i'm grateful for each and every one of you so um i hope you enjoyed the video and uh like i said drop your uh your your pet peeves and your likes you know let me let me hear both of them uh, i want to hear what you guys have to say um and what really you know uh, floats your boat about knives and and like i said what chaps your hide about knives so uh with that being said guys this is grateful panic signing off and remember guys stay alert stay alive and hey how about do something nice for somebody today thanks guys Bye-bye. Because I completely forgot, because I'm a cotton-headed ninny muggins, um, I am going to be tagging Jet Fuel EDC and uh, Jay over at the Knife Beater, if they haven't already been tagged. But, you know, if they have multiple tags, heck, give me your six pet peeves. Uh, anyway, thanks again, guys. Uh, you guys have a wonderful day. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, thank you guys. Bye-bye.